Hey everybody, it's Nicole and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making my award-winning blue ribbon chili um, featuring this product. It is Ziegler's Chili Con Carne and it is made right here in Alabama and this is the first in a series of videos featuring products made in Alabama. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add um, our little base to this or our seasoning blend. You can, you know, chop up fresh onions and peppers and um, do it that way, but we're gonna take a shortcut, make it easier on ourselves and just use one that's already chopped and frozen for us. So we're gonna saute this down um, until they become nice and translucent and you can actually smell the aroma in the kitchen um, I figured this would be a great way to kick off this series and start the fall season with a nice yummy comforting recipe so again here we are this is what it looks like and I'm gonna post a link to a lot of products made right here in Alabama food products should I say um, that you can actually order online and try these recipes for yourselves I try to shop locally and um, if you're a home cook a foodie or whatever try to shop locally and support some of the businesses that are in your area or your state so I'm adding the chili um, brick is what this is what we call it or my grandmother called it a chili brick because I'm building off of her recipe but it's shaped like a brick so we call it a chili brick but it's chili con carne and so I'm just adding it to the pot with the onions and peppers and uh sauteing it down as well and again this is our base it has ground beef and spices and things like that in it, and it adds a nice flavor to this chili. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add a can of chili beans. Um, you could use kidney beans, the lighter, the dark red kidney beans, but I'm just using chili beans um, that I picked up from the grocery store, whole can, undrained. And I go back and add another can later on. Okay, now I'm getting ready to add my black beans. I'm just gonna add a half of a can and I'm not gonna rinse them off because the um, liquid that's in the can actually helps thicken the chili. So I'm just gonna add a half a can of black beans. They can tend to be strong um, when you add them to a recipe, especially if they're not rinsed off, but I'm just gonna add a half a can, unrinsed and drained or undrained and unrinsed <laughs> make it clear i'll post the recipe down below now we're gonna add some um a can of rotel actually that's what that is i put it in a um container and i keep it in my fridge so that was actually one can of rotel the uh chilies and peppers And then we're going to add our seasonings. This is the black pepper. My camera will focus. And I like my stuff spicy. I don't know about you. You don't have to add as many um, spices if you don't want to. I'm going to add this Sazon Everything Seasoning. It's just a good rounded seasoning. But again, tailor this to however you want. Your taste buds might be a little different from mine. Okay. 
Now I'm adding some garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you want, but this is a quick version so that you won't be in the kitchen all day, but it'll taste like you've been in the kitchen all day making this. Now we're going to add a touch of Slap Your Mama. This is the hot one. They come in different degrees of heat. And like I told you, I like my stuff spicy, so I'm adding some of the Slap Your Mama. <laughs> Now we're going to add some cumin. Sorry about this camera not focusing like it should. And I'm just adding um, it by eye, you know, because I've made this chili so many times. But I'd say about a half a teaspoon because, you know, our chili brick has some flavor, I mean, seasonings in it, and the Cezanne has seasonings in it, so you don't want to overdo it. Now I'm adding some chili powder, and then the top fell off my chili powder. Luckily, nothing fell out. <laughs> so now we're going to um, just kind of add a pinch of chili powder in there. I hate when that happens. Good thing it wasn't anything like that slap your mama or something in there. <laughs> but anyway... Now I'm going to add some tomatoes. These are frozen that I had in the freezer that I chopped and um, put up, thawed out, and now I'm going to add it to my chili. It's about a cup. adding a little bit more black pepper a little bit more Cezanne because it needs a little more seasoning because I use salt and stuff like that sparingly and this is at a simmer I have it on like medium low so it's cooking kind of slow. And here is, y'all, my secret ingredient, and it's Coke, Coca-Cola. So I'm going to pour it into the can where the beans were to sort of rinse it out and uh, get some of that starch from the beans that are, that's left over from the can. And again, that'll help thicken your chili. Stir it in, and then cover it and let it simmer for about 20 or 30 minutes okay so now that it's simmered down you can see the difference in the texture as we stir it up it's thickened up a lot and it smells so good y'all and now we're going to add my next <laughs> secret ingredient well, it's not so secret anymore but it is Sprite. Sprite has a nice brightness to it. Almost like if you would put lemon juice in something. Um, not a whole lot. Don't add a whole lot. This is like a fourth of a cup. And with the Coke, the Coke sort of adds um, sort of a caramelized sweetness to the chili. So that's why I use them both. And you can see the acidity from the Sprite bubble in there and I'm just spreading around. It just adds a really nice brightness to the chili. You might think I'm crazy, but try it and you'll see why I want that blue ribbon with this chili. It is really, really good. And make sure that they're not flat sodas. Make sure they're fresh and bubbly and all that good stuff 
and now we're going to cover it up and let it simmer for another oh probably 20 minutes or so and now we're ready to serve y'all i have a nice big old bowl <laughs> and i'm gonna garnish it with some sour cream and a little shredded cheese and of course some jalapeno peppers because i know i love it spicy and I'm going to eat this with some crackers, some saltines. I love my saltine crackers. My daughter loves to put freshly sliced jalapenos on hers. I'm using the um, ones from the jar, the pickled jalapenos. But she loves the fresh jalapenos on her chili. And I'm also going to add um, some fresh chopped cilantro as well. This recipe is so good. Now, this is the quick version. Um, the only difference in that and just the more, I guess, slow version is that I didn't do all the chopping and all that stuff. I just used the frozen veggies and, uh, you know, took some shortcuts here and there so that we can get this done quickly. But this is so delicious and so comforting. And it includes a nice product that has made, that has been made here in Alabama for, oh gosh, since the 50s. Even before then, Ziegler's been around for a while. Um, but yeah, I know since my childhood, my grandmother again, like I said, made this or made chili from it. And I'm just carrying on the tradition with my own little spin. And as you can see, I'm adding my um, jalapenos. Now, I added more, honey, but this is just to make it look pretty for video purposes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This chili was so good. So, make sure you try it. I'll post the, the um, recipe below. Comment in the... You know, let me know in the comment section. My mouth's watering, y'all. Let me know in the comment section if you tried this and how you like it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I've got more Alabama products coming and recipes. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.